Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Dictation 30. Yeah, right, the big 30. Nice to meet you. We've got some new watchers. Let's say hi. We've got Brave Indy, Lee, 19906. English Listening Tape, Bimur, 1. Bimur, 1. Jomon V, Jomon V, Jomon V. Manoso 59, Manoso 59. I hope I have your names correctly. Welcome to the channel. I've got some people, some new people from Poland, from Spain, from France, from the United States. I'm very happy. My name is Shane, Coach Shane, and I'm here to try and help you with your English listening comprehension and English listening skills. So, before we begin Daily Dictation 30, we need to get the answers for DD29. Let's listen one more time. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear and that he and his fellow pilots train for these type of incidents. Ah, yes, this was very, 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 very difficult. It's a tough one, lots of words. Let me read the answers. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear and that he and his fellow pilots train for these type of incidents Pretty good? Not too good? A little bit difficult? Most students had a very difficult time in this area. We'll figure it out. The grammar, slightly awkward. Let's go to the top. He, he says, who is he? He is the Polish pilot, the hero, the main pilot. He says, the Polish pilot says, what does he say? He says, he was simply going by the book. He was simply, simply, we can change it, he was just. He was just, he was simply, very simply, not complicated. He was simply going by the book. An expression, going by the book. To go by the book. What does that mean, to go by the book? It means to follow the law, to follow the written law, to go by the book, to follow the law, to follow the written law. So going by the book means as we learned it in school, as we studied in school, to go by the book. Most countries, if you kill somebody, you will go to jail. According to the book, according to the law book, you must go to jail. And maybe you will be executed. You will be killed yourself to go by the book. You should go by the book. Do not cheat. Do not pay bribery. Do not lie. Go by the book. Keep the laws. Maintain the laws. Going by the book. So, this pilot was just going by the book. When it comes to murder? No. When it comes to cheating? No. When it comes to landing? So when an airplane takes off, eventually it must land. So the airplane takes off, it flies, and then shh, it lands. So landing. When it comes to landing, in accordance with landing, regarding landing, without gear. Without gear, without landing gear. Landing gear means the wheels. The wheels. So when you're landing, without gear, when you're landing without wheels, 
in the pilot book, there, there's a book that pilots study, and in the book it says, when landing without gear, you should A, B, C, D. Oh. So the Polish pilot, he's flying and he's landing. Oh my gosh, I have no gear. Ah yes, in the book it said A, B, C, D. So he's landing according to the book, by the book. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear. And, plus, also, that he and his fellow pilots, the other pilots too, not only him, not just him, but also the other pilots, his fellow pilots, his comrades, his co-workers, the other pilots, the other pilots on other planes, <clears throat> all of them, he and his fellow pilots, train for these type of incidents. They train for emergency landings. They train for landings without gear. They receive training. They practice. They learn how to land without gear. The grammar is strange. We need to change something. For these, <clears throat> our noun needs to have an S, but this is where the S should go. For these types of incidents, we should have an S here. He and his fellow pilots train for these types of incidents. Now sometimes the AP reporter is a native English speaker. His English is great. But we make mistakes. Native English speakers make mistakes. Even Homer nods. Monkeys fall from trees. This guy made a small mistake. He should have said types of incidents, but he just said type of incidents. Incidents. In this case, accidents, situations, bad situations. So, by the book is a great expression, according to the rules. Now, if you drive, and you're driving, and suddenly the road is icy, do you slam on the brakes? Do you, do you push on the brakes? Or do you let off the gas and not use the brakes? According to the book, if you go by the book, and you're driving on ice, do not hit the brakes hard. Touch the brakes a little bit, let off the gas. Then your car will not slide. You can stop safely. That is according to the book. When we speak English, we should speak by the book. We should go by the book. We should use the rules of grammar. So our reporter did not go by the book. If he went by the book, he would have used an S in this situation. Okay? Now, we understand the story. Let me read it once more. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear and that he and his fellow pilots train for these types of incidents. Pronunciation. He says he. The faster we say this, this sound is weak. He says he. He says he. He says he. He says he. Was simply. Was simply. Was simply going by the book. Going by the book. When it comes to. When it comes to. It's almost a t. When it comes to, when it comes to, when it comes to landing without gear. Landing without gear. And that. If we say this really fast, and that, and that, it actually sounds like and that. And that. And that he. And that he. Now here the H sound, we can cancel the H. 
we can cancel it here too. We can cancel this H sound too if we say it fast, so really fast, and that he and his and that he and his fellow, 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 and that he and his fellow pilots, and that he and his fellow pilots gotta have this S pilot no pilots pilots train train for these train for these it's gonna sound like a fur f e r like her train for these train for these type of and he says type of type of incidents incidents n c e same sound incidents so this is the tough part and that he and his and that he and his fellow pilots and that he and his fellow pilots on youtube there are many English teachers. Some of my favorite fellow teachers are Duncan and China. I swear English. I like that guy. Uh, then there's, uh, who's the guy in Minnesota? There's a guy in Minnesota. Ah, oh, learn American English. I think that's it. Then there's, uh, there's Jennifer's ESL. There's lots of great channels out there not just daily dictation of course <laughs> my channel is the best <laughs> no I'm sorry I think so I try <laughs> okay anyway my fellow English teachers if I were a student I could say my fellow students my fellow students and I believe something 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 my fellow English teachers on YouTube do our best to help you with your English. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Duncan in China. Yes. Hi, Duncan. Duncan. Duncan never watches my videos, but I watch Duncan's videos. Hmm. Anyway, Duncan's cool. Uh, okay, so that's the story. Let's listen again two more times, and then we'll move on to Daily Dictation 30. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear and that he and his fellow pilots train for these type of incidents. He says he was simply going by the book when it comes to landing without gear and that he and his fellow pilots train for these type of incidents. Okay, daily dictation 30 is super easy, super short. No, I'm lying. Daily dictation 30 is 30 words. 30 lessons, 30 words. It's about broccoli. Mmm. Do you like broccoli? I like broccoli. When I was young, I hated broccoli. But this is really good broccoli. Or is it? Let's find out. Good luck. It is the vegetable some love to hate. But now a new breed of broccoli, super broccoli, developed in Britain, may protect against heart disease, even some kinds of cancer. It is the vegetable some love to hate. But now a new breed of broccoli, super broccoli, developed in Britain, may protect against heart disease, even some kinds of cancer. It is the vegetable some love to hate, but now a new breed of broccoli, super broccoli, developed in Britain, may protect against heart disease, even some kinds of cancer. It is the vegetable some love to hate, but now a new breed of broccoli, super broccoli, developed in Britain, may protect against heart disease, even some kinds of cancer.